Welcome back to Financial Fitness Northwest, live on 1150 KKNW. It's now time for the Riley Johnson Team Market Update. We are going to discuss today the uh, local economy and how your buying power can be affected by this market and the possibility of uh, owning a home versus renting a home. Yep. Yeah, I think it's pretty um, amazing. I just read that in the first quarter this year, more Americans chose to purchase a home over signing a lease to rent, which that's the first time it's happened since 2006. So home ownership outpaced the number of renters um, were at like 70% home ownership versus renting. Which is really good. I know that there's tons of um, apartments and things going up because there is such a lack of inventory for the amount of buyers out there. Mm-hmm. But um, Too bad rent- they're not condos. Yeah, I know. It is too bad they're not condos. But um, it's just, it's challenging right now because the rents in Seattle, we are the third highest um, increase in rental, uh, in rents in the country. We right. are the third highest, like almost 10% rents have gone up. Over last year. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 crazy. And that's like compared to like, you know, a lot of major other major cities. So it's it's really sad. I mean, people I I have a woman that was in um my home buyer education class week before last and she was saying that um she just got notified. She she was she's looking to purchase a home, but she was just notified that her rent is going up. I think she was paying she was a south end and she was paying like 1600 for just a regular little apartment and her rent was going up $400 a oh, month. Yeah. I just heard that to someone else. And so there it's it's just a common um, thread with these new home buyers. They're like, OK, my lease is up in August. I've got to get out because their rent is just going up so dramatically. Their mortgage is literally the same or less than the rent they're paying for like an apartment and they're buying a house. Yeah. It's and crazy. Obviously. Well, maybe it's not obvious. It may not be obvious to renters because they don't, maybe they can't think that they can't buy, but there's definitely options out there to qualify, even if you don't have a down payment. Um, but the beauty is, is that you are going to be so much further financially ahead with owning your own property. Yeah. You're building wealth. You're building equity in your home. But I mean, also, you know, I was just thinking about this with a down payment assistance, even if you, because, you know, there is down payment assistance for people. Um, so you don't have even have to have a down payment in some situations. And um, you're, you know, even if you had to bring in your closing costs and prepaids, that's probably what you'd have to bring in for first month's rent and deposit. Yeah. First, it's last literally, and deposit. It gonna... literally costs you no more money to buy a house. Yeah. It's crazy. And then when you consider, you know, you have a tax write off now. So you're saving there versus renting. Yep. Taxes, uh, you know, definitely um, help at the end of the year. You can write off all the interest on your mortgage loan. So that's a big, big savings. And, mm-hmm. you know, when you calculate that out, sometimes people might think, oh, well, I can't afford the mortgage because it's going to be, you know, maybe it's going to be $150 more a month or $200 more a month. But when you consider the tax benefit, it actually is no more money. Right. You're possibly saving money a month on top of obviously you are saving a lot of money because you're <laughs> paying yourself in your mortgage versus paying a landlord in rent. Exactly. So, um, you know, it's really interesting. I, I remember like a few years ago, uh, well, there was a lot more renters than there was buyers. And so uh, we put together like the rental analysis. You know, Here's what it looks like if you rent versus if you bought, you know, and really go through all the numbers with them. Now it's like staggering. Like <laughs> put that together. It's crazy. It makes no sense to rent. It doesn't. It makes no sense. There's absolutely no, no benefit. And I know those same, those same numbers before Uh were like it's not that much stretch you have to kind of educate people on the fact that you know you can afford to spend a little bit more because of the benefit but now with rents going so high you literally can own for less money (laughs) right (laughs) right and own more Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for sure well thank you so much for tuning in to financial fitness northwest we hope you found the information valuable to learn more about our show and the guests we had in studio, you can visit us online at www.financialfitnessnw.com. Please let us know if you have any questions about topics discussed or um, any suggestions for future topics. Talk to you next week. Bye. Bye.